as we are the lenten season today the church give a passage reflect upon the gospel of saint john chapter 3 verses 14 on words beginning it is a conversation between jesus and nicodemus and here we see read like this verse 14 and just as moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness so must be the son of man be lifted up that whoever believes in him may have eternal life my dear sisters and brothers the word of god here we read moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness so must be the son of man be lifted up that whoever believes in him may have eternal life this incident this past says that moses is lifting up a serpent in the wilderness that we see in the book of numbers chapter 21 verses 4 to 9 and the word of god we can see here this serpent a bronze serpent is compared is metaphorically explained with jesus mission he is going to save the people of god when the people of israel when they were traveling towards the land of milk and honey the promised land as we know that 40 years they were in the wilderness and this is the say, situation that happens we read book of numbers chapter 21 verse 4 onwards from mount hor they set out by the way to red sea to go around the land of edom but the people became impatient on the way the people spoke against god and against moses why have you brought us up out of egypt to die in the wilderness for there is no food and no water and we taste this miserable food my dear sisters and my dear brothers they were complaining against moses and also against god why they were brought from the land of egypt as we know that they are under slavery and they were complaining com- they were complaining against moses and yahweh and as a consequence of that we read like this then the lord sent poisonous serpents among the people and bit the and they bit the people so that many israelites died the people came to moses and said we have sinned by speaking against lord and against you pray to the lord that take away the serpents from among from us so moses prayed for the people and the lord said to moses make a poisonous serpent and set it on the on a pole and everyone who is bitten shall look at it and live so moses made a serpent of bronze and put it upon a pole and whenever a serpent bit someone that person would look at the serpent of bronze and leave my dear sisters and brothers this is the context that saint john is explaining those who are looking at the serpent of bronze they were healed and this is the same way the son of man will be lifted up on the cross and those who are looking at him will be completely healed we can see the similarities of these two incidents serpent of bronze and the son of man son of god jesus in the old testament we see that people sinned and jesus god is bringing a remedy and god those who are looking at him they were saved my dear sisters and brothers in the new testament when saint john is comparing this one we can see that people have sinned and the sin the committing of sin as a punishment they were led to death and jesus those who are looking at jesus they were completely healed and it is not a physical healing but it is a spiritual healing it is a life everlasting life that jesus alone can bring so my dear brothers and sisters today's gospel invites each one of us to look at him and be radiant to look at him and receive the healing the spiritual healing 
the eternal life as we know the famous word of god saint john chapter 3 verse 16 saint john chapter 3 verse 16 for god so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not perish but may have eternal life my dear sisters and brothers and this glorification now we have to reflect upon how we will get the eternal life how we will get the eternal remedy my dear sisters and brothers this glorification to in order to gain this glorification this everlasting life as the word of god said first one should be lifted up on the cross and second then he will be going into the eternal life two things are very much important first he should be lifted up on the cross and second as as i asked after effect of that as a consequence of that as a result of lifting up on the cross then it will be leading us to the glorification my dear sisters and brothers this is a message for each one of us without suffering without cross there is no glorification without suffering without cross there is no glory we can see in the word of god how many times the word of god says like this without glory without suffering without pain without taking up of the cross there is no glorification the word of god we read like this saint matthew chapter 16 verses 24 saint matthew chapter 16 verse 24 we can read saint matthew chapter 16 verse 24 this says like this then jesus told his disciples if anyone want to become my followers let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me my dear sisters and my dear brothers if you wish to follow jesus what god said first and foremost you deny yourself second you take up your cross and follow him you deny yourself what do you mean by denying oneself it is nothing but just through baptism our ownership we have completely given to god that means we belong to jesus we our our ownership our body our thought our whole life jesus is the master of our life that is what denying oneself it is as the word of god says galatians chapter 2 verse 20 galatians 2 20 as saint paul says galatians 2 20 and it is no longer i who live but it is christ who lives in me and the life i now live in the flesh i live by faith in the son of god and who loved me and gave himself for me my dear sisters and brothers to deny oneself is nothing but it is no longer i who live but it is christ who lives in me praise the lord praise the lord this should be our attitude it is no longer that i who live but it is christ who lives in me my dear sisters and brothers through baptism through baptism our old self is over and we are dead to sin it is a new creation we all are in a new creation that means just understand our shape we are created in the image and likeness of god we are belong we belong to jesus we are created in the image and likeness of god and we belong to jesus and we are created for the eternity not for this human world my dear sisters and brothers we all are created not for this world our shape you and i as looking like god because we are created in his image and in his likeness so our life is not for this world our life is for the eternal for the eternity so our focus must be on the eternity that that is the denying of ourselves and the second god said that you take up your cross and follow me you take up your cross the taking up of the cross is nothing but all christians are called for a sacrificial love a sacrificial love always give god in the first place always in your life first place for jesus first place for god sometimes what happen in our day to day life for the momentary pleasures for the momentary pleasures we just 
give up Jesus. For the momentary pleasures, we just forget Jesus. For example, as we know the case of Esau, for the, a cup of soup, he just gave up the birthright. He just gave to this Jacob for just, just for a cup of soup. And my dear sisters and brothers, the same thing may happen in our day-to-day -day life. For the momentary pleasures, we also give up Jesus. God said that, take up your cross. To lead a sinless life, it is not that much easy. It is like a narrow path. To lead a holy life, to lead a virtuous life, this is the taking up of the cross. For example, if someone have hated against you, or something, someone spoke against you, or accusing you, all of a sudden we also feel the same to do the same. Sometimes to keep away or to shut our mouth, not to judge, it is like a path of, it is like a path of cross. My dear sisters and brothers, to do sin, to commit sin, it is easy. But to lead a sinless life, to lead a holy life, it is not something easy. It is a narrow way. This is the cross. This is the cross before you. In day-to-day -day life, we may come across many times to commit sin. Maybe our thoughts, through our words, through our deeds. But to keep away from this sin, to lead a holy life, this is the cross in our day-to-day -day life. So Jesus is calling each one of us, as we heard, one should be lifted up on the cross and then into the glorification. That means without cross, without suffering, without pain, without tears, there is no glorification. Let's all reflect upon our own life. What are the suffering? What are the crosses I may come across? Maybe the sickness we have or the financial difficulty you have or from the, your husband or from your wife or from your parents or your brother or children are you ready to take up your cross and follow him are you ready to take up your cross and follow him let us ask God's grace because sometimes when we come across crosses or suffering we always maybe complain or accuse us the people of Israel were doing. My dear sisters and my dear brothers, suffering, pain is the identity mark of a Christian life. So let's ask this grace. May God bless you all.